Hi everybody, Andy Kravlicha here. Uh, today's video is a little uh, pensive because there's an anniversary coming up which I'm very kind of thoughtful about. I'm um, sure you can see that behind me on the wall are um, some albums put up framed, uh, 10 to this point, full-length albums which I've appeared on, which has been a fantastic ride. What a lot of people don't know is that there is one more album which uh, actually belongs up there uh, as it is an album I've appeared on. It was released as far back as 20 years ago uh, and I just recently found it. Here it is. It's called Rinkaby Kids, We Have a Dream. Um, it was recorded, as I said, uh, 20 years ago, so let me wind you back to that time. When I was a kid, uh, I wouldn't go so far as saying I was shy, but I was, you know, I hadn't broken the social codes. I was a bit of an outcast that didn't have a lot of friends uh, growing up. Um, and so I didn't have a lot of self-confidence. I had a lot of confidence issues and I, I never kind of believed that I could ever be a singer or anything remotely kind of attention grabbing as, as such. Um, and so I met this guy, Eric Bibb, Eric Bibb, for those of you who don't know, uh, is one of the great uh, rhythm and the blues, uh, spirit and the blues artists, American, uh, who has ever graced this earth. If you do not know about this man, uh, it is not too late to rectify that gaping hole in your uh, knowledge of music history. Uh, run, do not walk to his back catalog. The man is a genius. Eric Bibb had uh, gathered a bunch of kids and formed a choir to try to affect some sort of social awareness about the place where we were living. The, 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 uh, the choir was named Rinkeby Kids after the part of town which we were from called Rinkeby. It was as close as you could get in the Swedish welfare state to the projects. There was a lot of poverty. There was a lot of um, sense of kind of being socially outcast and not part of the society, greater society, which was outside that part of town. Um, and so we embarked on this journey together. He got me in a studio. He made me record some stuff and then he put some earphones on me and he played it back to me. And it was the first time I'd ever heard my voice recorded and played back to me. And he said, you know what? This sounds good. And I think we should, I think we should work together. I was just a kid and I was, you know, absolutely amazed by this prospect. And so we, we embarked on this, uh, this, this incredible journey together, this group of children uh, and, and Eric uh, as our leader. I went on my first tour with Eric, played my first uh, you know, large gig with Eric. Uh, we played for people like the prime minister. We played for, for on some really large stages. We were on television. Uh, it was kind of a, a project to raise political awareness of the problems that were there in Rinkeby. And so... Uh, eventually, my voice broke as it does, and I couldn't sing in the choir anymore. So I, you know, I got this copy of this album that we made. We also released a book with the album. I am gutted that I don't have the book. I, I lost it in some move. It now resides in some, you know, unidentified place in the pile. Um, and you know, promptly forgot about it. Dug it out of storage now, and then heard about it, and figured, uh, what better way to celebrate? the 20 year anniversary of the release of We Have a Dream by Rinkeby Kids, then by, if you look at track number 19 here, it says We Have a Dream instrumental version, uh, actually performing a duet with myself 20 years ago and today. Unfortunately, I don't have any video of myself performing, so I don't know how the heck I'm gonna keep it visually interesting. But what you're about to hear is a duet between my 32 year old self 12 year old self uh, recording this very track. I hope you enjoy. We 